Okay friends, welcome to Easy Coding with Amara once again. And in the previous video, you can see that we have created a list view in which first row is horizontal and all other row is vertical. So you can see that this row is vertical and this is a horizontal list view. So yes. So in the previous video, we are facing an error. So the error is that when I click on this C++ button, all the code related to C++ is appear, but this image is not changed. Okay, so this is an error. And after that, when I click on this Android button, so you can see that the code related to Android is appear, but the image is not changed. So in the previous video, we are facing this type of error. So first of all, I am going to correct this error, and after that, we are going to create this video section. Okay, so let's go. Open the Android Studio. So first of all, I will tell you what why this problem is happen. So when scroll down. So when I click on this Android button, the image from the image of the Android is go from here, okay, and pass in this function. So let's open this function horizontal view. So in this function, you can see that. So sorry, this is a vertical view function. So this is a horizontal view function, and you can see that I get the image and store in this image variable, and then I store this image variable in an, a new variable which is image underscore new. So you can see that I assign this image to this variable. But here is one problem. The problem is that I store image in image underscore new, but I did not refresh this variable. Okay, so you uh, in Flutter, one point you should keep in mind that the set state function is very important. You have to set the state of any variable when you change its value. Okay, so first of all, cut this from here and write this in this set state method. Okay, that's why it refresh the image. Whenever the user click on some image like this, whenever the user click on this Android image, so this is the Android image, and whenever user clicks on this Android image, we store the image in this variable and we have to refresh this variable. Okay, after that, when user click on this C button, you can see that. We did not refresh the this variable, so that's why this problem is happened. So now let's run the code and check the output. So now the code is run successfully. So I open this app and go to this category section. And inside this category section, you can see that this type of horizontal list view. And whenever I click to this Android Studio, you can see that the image related to Android is appear. Now I click on this C++ image. So you can see that the image related to C++ is appear. Okay. And also now you can see that this Android for beginners is appear in this list view two times. But inside this database, the, and the code related to Android is stored one time. You can see that here is an Android language and here is a C++ language. So here is a topic Android for beginners and here is a topic C++ for beginners. So you can see that here it appears two times because we did not clear the list view. Okay. So now. I am going to clear this list view so that so in this in it method so here we code for getting the data from the database okay and after that we create our for loop this is like a for loop okay and after that I fetch all the data from the database and store in this list view okay so first of all inside this for loop we have to clear the list so whenever this for loop is created first of all the list is clear and after that it store all the data in this list view okay so I, again i run this code and show you output
okay and now the app is refreshed successfully so you can see that here the data is appear after some times okay and after that i go to this category section and you can see that whenever i click on this flutter nothing nothing is happen because nothing is stored in the flutter okay and after that whenever i click on this C, C icon nothing is happen because no code is stored in the c++ so after that when click when i click on this c++ image you can see that the code is happen but in this time it appears one time and after that when i click on second time on this c++ image no code is happen okay because i clear the list and after that when i click on this android studio you can see that the code is appear one time okay and after that i again click on this c++ so you can see that code is appear one time because every time the list is cleared the old data is deleted and after that the new data is fetched from the firebase and stored in the list okay now first of all i will show you the demo app so you, you have an idea what we are doing in this video so first of all i open the demo app and after that you can see this type of supply screen and after that this is a post section so i change this post section to this layout which we have created in the previous video so i change that layout to this layout and i will show you these changes in the upcoming videos okay so first now in this video open this video section and you can see this type of layout and after that when i click on this python button you can see the code related to python is appear so this is a link okay and this link is belongs to youtube and when someone click on this link the youtube video is open related to this code okay so this is our today's work so let's start so now i select first of all android from here and after that open this java and after that open this coding app and you can see that i create a new dot file for video this so open this file and let's start code here so first of all i am going to paste this code here which is for list okay and you can see that the in our list view in this code there is a list view and in this list view you can see that the language coming language coming okay and this language is coming from this array okay so here is a language c c++ python android flutter so if you want to add some more choices for the user you can do this very easily okay by adding here some new language so first of all inside this container i set the color attribute create a child in this child i create a list view so in this list view i set item count is equals to list dot length okay and this is the length of this list so in this list the length is 5 and inside this list view first of all i am going to create a card and after that i set the color of card and i give some margin here and now i am going to create a child and inside this child i am going to create a text and inside this text first of all i am going to pass the list and index sorry here i use the pos position variable so pass the position so first of all the first position which is zero so first of all the c is showing here and after that i am going to change some text styling here so i paste this code here and inside this code you can see that i set the font size height after that color and after that font weight okay so give some space here so like that so i think so this is done with the layout so first of all i am going to run this code and after that 
I implement on tab method here. Okay. So first of all, view the layout of the list view. Okay, and now the app is running successfully and we go to this video section here and after that you see that this type of layout but it's looking very bad so let's improve our layout here first of all so first of all give some padding to the text so click on this and give some padding here so i apply the padding of 10 Control S for save, but it's not save. So for, let's run here. So the app is running, and now to now go to this video section, and inside this video section, the padding is not applied. So let's run again this app. So the app is running successfully and now you can see that the padding is applied. Okay, so now I want to place an icon here. Okay, so if you want to place an icon here, you use a class which is list style. So first of all, I am going to create that class. So first of all, cut the code from here and write here list style. And inside this list style, you have an attribute title. And inside this title, I paste that code which we created. So, yes, in this way, you can create a list style. And after that, I set this font size to 20 and I remove the height of the text. Okay. So, yes, after that, you have to create an attribute which is trailing. And inside this, I I am going to create a row because I want to because I want to include two icons. Okay, so yes, in this way. First of all, I will show you. So inside this list view, I want to create here two icons, one for the video and one for the website. Okay. So whenever the user click on the video icon, the links related to the YouTube videos is open. And whenever the user click on some post icon here, I, I create a post icon. So whenever the user click on that post icon, the code, the link related to the my website is open. Okay. So that's why I am going to create a row here. And create two icons one for video and one for the website so inside this row i am going to create a chil children and now i am i am going to create a button icon button which is icon button okay so you can create an icon button like this so in this icon button i set the icon to the web so you can see this type of icon and after that i set size color and on press method so in this on press method i remove this code and i will code in the next video okay so first of all after that i am going to create an other icon so let's copy this and paste it here and now i change this to this video icon okay so this is a video icon and now let's save this and check the output so the app is running and after that list view is not showing so let's check so open this run attribute and you can see that here is an error and so trailing widget consume 
एंटायर लगे प्लीज सो यस एज दिस ट्रेलिंग एट्रीब्यूट द फर्स्ट आई कैन टेक्स ऑल द स्पेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सेट द स्पेस so by writing this code we set the space and if i did not set the space this first icon take all the space and there is no space for the second icon so let's now run this code so now the code is running and you can see that this type of layout so this is very big so first of all i am going to reduce some padding and after that i think this is look good and now i am going to reduce the padding from here that it to 2 now refresh it so if you want to minimize the space you can use this mi and min and if you want to maximize this space you can use mx max okay so now this code is running again and you can see that this is the space is reduced so yes that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to implement this on click method and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends and one thing more is that i upload all the code inside this my website so if you want to get the code you can check this my website and if you scroll down you can see here is a category section and if you want to get the code related to flutter so here is the flutter section android and so on so you can check this website okay and i will provide this link in the description of this website so see you soon allah